For a long time, Disney has always held the crown as essentially being the king of children's entertainment, making the most money from the box office, and Universal is always in second place and trying to catch up but never was able to do so. But it seems now that Disney has now lost that crown to Universal Studios, and the reason why that is so is because, well, Universal is actually trying to entertain kids, not insert SJW woke liberal ideology into their films. Meanwhile, Disney is doing that more and more and more, and as a result, they keep having more box office flops. Because why? Well, as the saying goes, you go woke, you go broke. Plain and simple. But this is on uh, Breitbart News. It says Universal animated movies grows double woke Disney's at the box office. Yeah, not just you know uh, beating them, but actually doubling the amount of money they're making. Crazy. But that's what happens when you go woke instead of actually just making you know good content. It says here on Breitbart uh, on the article for three years now, Universal's animation films have grossed out the woke rumors at Walt Disney. Yes, you read that right. Disney is now uh, such a disaster and such a discredited brand, Universal Studios has been beating the once unbeatable Disney at the box office for three years running. Yeah, so they've held that crown for three years now, Universal Studios, because they're not inserting this ideology into their kids' films. Woke liberal SJW ideology is why Disney's going broke. But it says here on the article, gee, I wonder what has changed over the last three years. Well, you can bet uh, a, this gajillion word article over the left wing rap that examines Disney's fall uh, doesn't even mention the woke virus that has destroyed all things Disney. Yeah, pre woke Disney, pre when they weren't inserting all this stuff in their films, yeah, they're doing pretty well because, well, you know, normal people aren't going to pay to see this, to have this stuff injected into kids' films. And when Disney was not doing that to their kids' films, hey, they actually were doing pretty good. But uh, it's not the case anymore. But continuing on the article, it says, uh, no, the rap's dishonest studio stack up blame it on everything but one glaring truth. Universal's animation department produces movies meant to entertain children and parents alike. Movies without political messages. Movies without innocence shattering adult sexuality and homosexuality. Unlike Disney, Universal is not looking to confuse and groom children. Instead, Universal is looking to make children smile and laugh, thrill them, and take them away into another world. And that was what, what Disney once was before they were inserting woke liberal ideology. And now that Universal is actually doing that, doing what Disney once did, well, they're beating Disney at their own game now. And rightfully so, because, you know, normal parents are not going to pay to have uh, liberal SJW ideology inserted into their kids' brains through these so-called kids' films. But it says here, continuing on the article, while the rap article hilariously goes off out of its way to write around why Disney animation is dying and Universal is thriving, the scope of Disney's failure is mind-bending. It says, uh, from Pixar's Onward, which opened to a disappointing 39 million in March of 2020 to Walt Disney's animation's Strange World, which barely cracked 25.5 million in its first 12 days of domestic release, Disney's theatrically released animated films have grossed just over 1 billion worldwide. And that's like the combined, you know, worldwide, all these films combined worldwide only gross a bit over one billion. That is embarrassing. But hey, it's a testament to the fact that woke equals broke. Continuing on in the article, it says on Breitbart, meanwhile, in that same period, with the same burdens of COVID and a much lower and on much lower production budgets, Universal's combined theatrical output from Illumination and DreamWorks Animation have earned 2.6 billion worldwide from a series of animated hits like Trolls World Tour, The Crude's New Age, Spirit Untamed, The Boss Baby's Family's Boss Baby Family Business, Sing Two, The Bad Guys, Minions, The Rise of Gru. In contra the contrast in box office performance has been stark. Disney's Encanto, $256 million, earned one-third less in late 2021 and early, 2020, early 2022 than Universal's Sing 2, $407 million at the box office. Uh, while Disney's Pixar's Lightyear earned $226 million at the box office, eventually earned less than both of Universal animated films from this spring and summer, Illuminations, Minions, The Rise of Brew, $937 million at the box office, and DreamWorks Animations, The Bad Guys, $250 million at the box office. And again, they point out the fact how it's funny how that, that article by, uh, was, it, was the thing they wrote on, it was, it was, uh, what was it? It was the rap. They, they're saying how it's funny how they seem to overlook the fact that the reason why Universal is doing better is because they're actually not inserting politi uh, liberal SJW politics into their kids' films. They're just trying to make kids laugh and, you know, have a great time out of the movies, which is what Disney once did, and they were successful because of that. But then when they went away from that, they tried to pander to a bunch of annoying blue-haired liberals on the internet who make a fuss over everything, 
uh, and and somehow have convinced them that they're somehow the the majority when they're really just just a very loud and annoying minority on the internet. Uh, when you try to pander to those people, yeah, you know you're gonna have failure after failure after failure because well they're not representative of the majority of who of the people who would go to pay to see your films. But like I said, they're just a loud and annoying minority on the internet who get offended at everything. Plain and simple. It's just a testament to the fact Universal is proving to Disney, you go woke, you go broke. When you stray away from just entertaining kids to pushing liberal ideology, yeah, that's the result. It's going to be very very costly financially. So anyway, wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.